Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter Blog. Today we're going to make some cute letter pockets. Now, I'm going to make two different ones because I was planning on making a one <laughs> and then I messed up and I accidentally cut the wrong side of the paper and then I just decided to go with it and turn it into another little pocket. So, as you can see, my original idea was to create a little folder with a pocket. You will see in a second and then I end up cutting it wrong. So I decide to, um, see, I should have turned it the other way around. And now I'm realizing that, oops, it's upside down. Uh, so what I did instead is I made one pocket and one folder with a pocket. It's going a little bit fast now, but um, yeah, it's basically, I'm just basically folding it and then cutting off half of um, one of the pages so that it creates a pocket. I am not using any measurements. I'm just eyeballing it like I usually am. My only guideline usually is that I want to be able to fit it into a standard sized envelope. But um, other than that, I just trim off pieces of paper I just folded anyway I see fit and then the last thing I'm doing for that pocket is I'm adding a folded piece of paper like just a teeny tiny strip and then what that does is when you glue down one side of the fold to the pocket and the other side of the fold to the page you just create a teeny tiny bit of extra space I could also glue down the pocket straight onto the page that's totally fine but this just gives you um, let's say a half a millimeter extra uh, space for tucking in some goodies and I'm just I just secured that in place with a paper clip a paper clip with a peg, a wooden peg, uh, to hold it in place until it's dry. Um, I, I always try to link the supplies I have used down below. So the paper trimmer will be there, but then it gets a little bit difficult because the paper pad I used is from Action. I did an Action haul a little, a couple days ago. If you want to see that, I will link it down below as well. It doesn't have this paper pad. It has a different paper pad though, but it's from one of our dollar stores here in the Netherlands and then the glue I'm using and the scissors are also from Action so I cannot link those because they don't have a website but other than that um, I will try and link everything I have used. The um, black and white little flower piece is from a vintage book that I've used and then ta-ta-da -ta people have been asking me this all the time Vivian show us your typewriter well here it is this is my vintage typewriter um, it's a Remington Idol or Idol I don't know and it's actually vintage it is super pretty it has the same color as my um, craft room wall coincidentally it does make a lot of noise which is good that I silenced this but basically what I did uh, is I typed out tiny word stickers. Um, I, um, I I love using tiny word stickers. I ne can never find them. So I decided to make my own, especially because that actual vintage typewriter font is so, so pretty. Um, so I typed out stuff like, I, I actually have the box here with me now, so I can just look at it. I typed out incoming happiness, today, wonderful day, uh, remember now, memories, XOXO, best day, open me, open here, chasing love, all those kind of like, kind of cheesy things, but they look cute as tiny word stickers. So I typed out a whole lot of them. I'm going to gift some as goodies and I'm also going to use them in this project. Then we also have the hello die cut that coincidentally had the same color. And then what I'm doing now is I'm going through my folder of magazine clip outs. I have way too many, I never use them. Uh, and I thought that today maybe I could use them and find something cute. And I think I did find something cute and I think it really adds uh, an extra layer to the project because I always use the same supplies and using magazine clip outs is actually pretty fun. So I hope that gives you some ideas. Um, most of these clip outs are from Flow Magazine. 
I also have, that's from Flow magazine, definitely. But I also have um, these magazines my grandma reads and then she gives them to me because she, know that, she knows that I will cut out everything I can use. Uh, and I also have um, like m store magazines from, for example, Sostrene Grene. You can see the, the little image that is laying on top of my other scissors there. It's upside down now, but there's a flower on there. And I know that that is from a like the, the catalog of Sostrene Grene. That black and white flower that I'm cutting out now is actually a window sticker. Um, it has a poem and then a lot of flowers and you're supposed to like stick it on your window or on, on a, a mirror or something like that so that you can always look at it and read it. But I, I, I don't do that. I naturally just cut out the stickers instead. That um, white and brownish paper is a note paper that I bought. And I'm going to stick it on there just to add a little bit extra interest to the front. So this little project that I'm working on now went to Faith. I already knew that I was working on something for her and then uh, when I made that mistake I ended up creating a, a second project. Um, I promised myself I would not work on two projects in one video anymore because it kind of stresses me out. I ended up doing it anyway. Um, and I do kind of have to say that I like the result. I don't know if this one has been arrived. Um, the second one, I mean, the, the pocket one, uh, went also went to the USA, to Kimberly. So I hope that has arrived. I sent it out last month. Um, both of them went to the USA. So, you know, I'm kind of hoping they have arrived. Otherwise I'm <laughs> spoiling the content. But that's all good. So one of them is a, a is a um, a wallet, I guess, and the other one is just a pocket. And my goal for this video and many more to come is to use more different supplies. I say it in so many videos, but there are so many supplies I have. First of all, I have a lot of supplies, okay? And then I, I don't use half of them. So my magazine clip outs are forgotten while, I mean, how pretty is that bookcase? I actually think that matches the magical theme quite well. And I have those vintage clip outs that I now used on the front of the other pocket. Again, how pretty is that? I just completely forget to use it. So. One of my goals for sure is to use them more. And as you can see, what I'm cutting out now is that um, page from the catalog, the store catalog. It had all of these pretty flowers, so duh, I had to save them. And I think also a lot of times people send me magazine clip outs. I do not use them either. And I think the reason why is because I love using um, clip outs from Flow magazine, not just because they're pretty, because they are very pretty, but also because uh, I kind of remember the story that came with the image then, and it just feels a little bit more special. What I showed you just now is a gorgeous, absolutely beautiful, one of the prettiest stamps I have ever seen. Um, was it from Finland? I don't actually remember, but a beautiful stamp. It has purple and then it has rose gold accents. Hey Sage. <laughs> it has rose gold accents and I just thought it matched the project so, so well. Oh, I, I always love seeing that little face pop up between my arms because she likes to be on my lap when I'm crafting. I don't know if she's still there now, but every once in a while she'll just like peekaboo her head out to see what I'm working on and sometimes she'll steal something and sometimes she'll just sniff everything. So yeah, another thing I'm hoping to use more is vintage stamps because I've collected quite a few or used stamps because this one that you see on the page now is vintage. The one on the front of the page is definitely not vintage, but very beautiful. So stamps, another supply I'm hoping to use washi type and washi type samples and then of course my typewriter 
let me know in a comment down below what is something you need to use more of i think i talk about this a lot i've probably also asked that question before wax seals another thing i forget to use <laughs> um i've asked that question before but it's just a big topic for me uh, also what you see on the right now is a sticker book my stickers and sticker books in general the one i'm using now is from maggie harms it's a maggie harms sticker book i'll try and find it and link it down below as well so yeah definitely used a lot of supplies in today's video that i always forget to use i'll just quickly type out the things that i have to remember to link maggie harms sticker book <laughs> Don't forget. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, the, the fr I quite like how this project turned out. I'm also doing some extra doodling. The only thing I know how to doodle, <laughs> little flowers, just to, 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 to fill up the page a little bit more. And then I'm also going to add some nouveau drops at the end because that always gives such a nice touch to a project. Oh, I'm just looking at my desk. I'm actually in my craft room with my computer right now. Just looking at my desk and I just opened a stationary box, which is super exciting, a vintage themed stationary box. That video will also be online very soon. Keep an eye out for that. But I, I stuck the washi tape that was in that box onto my desk. And then I peeled it off and I actually peeled the paint off of my desk again. <laughs> I'm really ruining this desk. But I've had it, I just counted back, I've had it, this desk, for nearly eight years. Because in July of this year, July 2020, it will be eight years since I moved out <laughs> and like became a student. Which is kind of crazy. So eight years ago I moved to Breda. Eight years ago, I bought this, I, the desk I'm sitting at now, that used to be our kitchen table, actually. Fun fact. <laughs> oh yeah, but yesterday, actually like Wednesday when I'm uploading this, was my birthday. I have talked about it in the PO Books opening video that I filmed last night. I get it was like... 10 nearly 11 o'clock at night but i just wanted to open some birthday mail so i sat down and i made a video anyway um but i have talked about how my birthday had been so if you want to hear how about my birthday then don't forget to watch the next po box opening video i hope to f like i still have to finish filming it because i only opened like a couple meals but then i'm hoping to upload it next week i think but it was a good birthday. Long story short, it was quite a nice birthday. I didn't ask for any presents because I'm actually saving for a new iPad. I've had my old iPad for um, six years, I think. And it's literally dying. There's like cracks in the screen. And I've already replaced the screen two times. So I thought instead of replacing the screen another time i think i should just invest in a new ipad because it's literally dying so i didn't ask for any presents i just asked for my parents to kind of help me fund a new ipad but then my mom also bought me a new plant i always love plants you know that she bought me a new house plant i hope it's the same in english as it is in dutch but it's called strelitzia it's like a what is it called? I even forgot what, what the nickname is in Dutch. It's like a... Is it... I don't know. No, it's... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I remember. In Dutch, I think the, the nickname is like Paradijsvogel plant, which basically means bird of paradise plant because the flowers look like those birds of paradise. It's really, really cool. It's really pretty. And my mom has a huge one. Hers is like two meters tall or something. Um, but that is too big for our house and I would be so afraid of killing them because the, the ones that are like two meters are I don't know hundred something euros because they are so Difficult to grow I think so she bought me a smaller one 
and I'm super excited. I hope to one day grow it to two meters as well. I love house plants and I definitely got that from my mom. Um, my parents in the new house have a ton of natural daylight. So all of her house plants are blossoming. I'm like super jealous because whatever uh, plant cutting I give her, her plant cutting does better than my original plant. It's so unfair, it's really unfair. But I'm also hoping to do well with this bird of paradise plant because when it gets flowers, it's so pretty, but it needs to be sort of happy to get the flowers. So fingers crossed that I can make this plant happy. <sighs> and then, yeah, we, we, we kind of have an urban jungle nowadays. <laughs> We have so many house plants, it's really funny. But uh, what you see me do in the background is obviously fill the pockets with some goodies. I added some of those tiny words that I typed out on my typewriter. They're not stickers because I don't have sticker paper. They are just um, cut out paper. And then I'm adding a ton more goodies. We had uh, some die cuts that I put into a little baggie. We have some... Uh, things from the flow book for paper lovers that I will link down below the video. I will link the video for that down below. We have um, some, I don't know, some Pipstick stickers. I am also going to include my letter in there, of course, and some more goodies. I don't know. So those are the finished projects. Oh yeah, I have that really adorable, cute little uh, flower caravan thingies um flower caravan postcards really adorable so yeah basically it's just a little tuck spot for a ton of goodies it's still flat meal i mean it also depends on how much you stuff in there but it's still flat meal it doesn't cost you a fortune to mail out and i think it's a great and fun way to include something a little extra for your pen pal so i hope this inspired you to make some letter pockets of your own if you do of course don't forget to use the hashtag as a paper letter blog so that i can see that you've used my video for inspiration and more importantly i can include your picture at the end of my videos because every now and then i will pick a, a random few pictures from the paper letter blog hashtag to uh, put at the end of my videos to showcase for everyone to see so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did you know what to do give it a big thumbs up and i will see you again very soon okay bye bye